This is this is a call. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. I'm going to play a video, about a five minute video at the end of this uh, quick talk I want to have in the beginning. That's really important for people to watch. Just again to bring everybody to a point where you understand how this networking system works, how children are being targeted. Uh, you know, through these Masonic youth organizations uh, to become leaders in this type of movement that we're seeing going on now, which is about more than just gun control. And, you know, I, I, this whole thing that went on in Florida, it's bothered me more and more each day that I've, uh, you know, been looking at. I mean, you've seen the amount of videos that I've put out. Unfortunately, I've had to delete a lot of those videos because i got to play it safe. You know, I'm not, I just built this channel back up after having 250,000 cha uh, subscriber channel taken away from me. And I see a lot of channels that are getting taken down, and I feel for them. But I'm so bothered by all this stuff that's going on because I can see what's coming next from it. Seeing these children now being paraded around to Ellen DeGeneres on her show, to all of these shows that they're going on now. And being portrayed as heroes, not showing emotion. You know, we can all see through this stuff and what it's about. But they're using children now against us. They're using children now to manipulate others out there. Right? So, you know, we talk about on this channel, and I say we, me, and you guys, you know, in the comment section, we all kind of understand fully these satanic circles, how they run, how they target kids, Crowley's teachings, you know, the black magic, the sacrificing of children, this kind of stuff. This is extremely overlooked, right? Because people can't grasp it. But they're, this bothers me from the standpoint that they're taking these teens and they're using these teens, teens to manipulate others out there. And this is going to lead to, you know, like I said, more and more people looking at these kids as if they're adults, right? And leading to the age being dropped and all this stuff with, you know, uh, sexualizing children. And I want to just make sure I stay clear here because I'm so riled up. I know I can go off track a little bit. But let me, before I play this clip, let me, let me explain, right? So we have the Demolay, we have the Jobs girls, we have the Rainbow girls, okay? So many idiotic people comment. I mean, I, I can't even tell you how many women have commented who claim to be Rainbow girls. And I know that there's a lot of trolls, you know, uh, flocking to my videos to try to discredit stuff. But they're like, I was in Rainbow Girls. I wasn't ever asked to be an actress. Like, they're so stupid, right? Just because you're in the Rainbow Girls or the Job's Daughters, it doesn't mean that you're trained in crisis acting. It doesn't mean this stuff. You're recruited through that, right? You're rewarded. These people become, you know, they go into these youth organizations and then they're told, oh, you could become a leader in this youth organization. They're monitored by Freemasons who are, you know, pretty much like honorary fathers who are training and indoctrinating them with, you know, Pike's teachings about Lucifer, right? Which you'll see in this video. The Mason saying, listen, we want to educate young children about what we're educated on. And what is that? Well, I've already read all this stuff, right? Talking about how they need to bring in World War Three, how they need to bring, you know, uh, cause these wars amongst us, destroy Christianity, and how, you know, Lucifer's the true God and all that stuff that Pike says. And what they do in these youth organizations is they scout some of these kids. They look for ones who are standouts, right? Oh, well, this kid's a real leader amongst everyone else, and now he's promoted within the youth organization. They do that in these youth organizations. They become knights. They become masters and all these ridiculous... It's like Dungeons and Dragons nonsense, right? You know, oh, this kid is now a knight, so he's a leader amongst the youth organization. They scout for those kids. Then those kids are chosen. Okay? Those kids are used in whatever they need to be used in. It doesn't just have to be crisis acting. It could be an event in your town. It could be becoming a political activist in, your, in a local small town for some type of an event or some type of an action that, you know, from the higher-ups that they want filtered down. Right? So what they're doing is they're rolling out these kids who clearly are all part of these youth organizations, and these kids are becoming the leaders for this movement, right? They're going to march in Washington. There's going to be hundreds of thousands of kids that are showing up. Oprah's donating hundreds of thousands. Steven Spielberg, all the same Masonic, Satanic, uh, bagel-loving puppets who are coming forward who are donating all their money to help these kids march. And every All these celebrities saying, oh, it's so great that the kids are activists. The kids are the ones who are going to cause change. The ones who are leading these movements are these children from these Masonic youth organizations. That doesn't mean 
that every kid in the school or every kid who shows up at this thing is a member of a Masonic youth organization. They're following their lead. What are the Masonic youth organizations, what do the leaders tell? What do the Masons say about these groups? We're trying to create leaders. We're trying to create people who are going to change the world. They, they program these kids into thinking that. Not only that, but they make them swear to secrecy, swear oaths to secrecy. Okay? Kids are more vulnerable to being loyal to these groups than adults are. So people are like, oh, a kid's going to join and they can trust the kid. Uh, yeah. Put a sword up to a kid's throat and tell them that they'll kill him. You don't think the kid's going to be like, and then all of a sudden the kid's hanging out with adults. The kid's getting rewarded, all this stuff, told that he's better than everyone else. You create this narcissistic prick of a child. And then these are the kids who are coming forward in these movements. The rest of the people are seeing these kids, the same kids on CNN, on Ellen, on all these shows. And they're being influenced by them, going, I want to be a lead. You know, I, I, I want to get involved in this, too. We got to stop gun control. They don't know what's going on, right? So the people who are going to show up, a lot of them don't have a clue, but they want to be there because they want to join this, right? It's the trendy thing to do. It's the, it's the right thing to do, empowering the teens. The ones leading it and behind it are youth organization that leaders who are Dima Lay, Job's, daughter, Job's Daughters, Rainbow Girls, right? And who are under the control of the handlers at the Masonic Orders and Masonic Lodges. Now, it's not just some casual guy at a Masonic Lodge. Clearly, they sent extreme higher up, 33rd degree and above members of secret orders, different orders to go there to scout out. They do this at these specific school events. To get the perfect kids for the job. You know, they might not be the best crisis actors, but they'll be leaders afterwards. Look at the kid Hog, right? Awful actor, right? Possible that they were gaslighting by showing us the uh, clip of him rehearsing his lines? Absolutely. Because stuff doesn't get out unless they want it out. But look how, look what they've done with that, making him a victim. He's getting more empowered, right? More and more people are going, this poor kid, what he's been through. And he's standing up going, F you to everybody who calls me an actor. And he's going, tough, well, you know, no, I don't care what you say. We're coming for your guns and you're not going to stop us. And people are cheering him on and, oh, yeah, he's becoming a leader and a face. They're doing it with all these specific kids, a couple girls, a couple boys. They're becoming the faces of the movement. And then the rest of the children of the world who don't, know any of this stuff who aren't a part of these orders are following suit that's what's happening these children are well versed in the masonic doctrine these specific ones who are leading these uh, you know this movement and people go well it's george soros is behind the well yeah all these people are funding it they need hotels they need food they need transportation money and all that stuff they don't have to blink and all of a sudden they have all this money to go march in washington let alone the fact you gotta wonder are these kids even going to school you know, one day they're in Tallahassee, the state capital. The next day they're uh, they're out in El an Ellen show in California in Hollywood. You know, I remember when I was in school, you got like five days of being absent. If you didn't, you had to go to summer school unless you had doctor's notes. But I guess they're getting dismissed because it's a, you know, I mean, just bizarre things that are involved in this. Anyway, I'm going off on a rant, but I just want people to understand. Watch this video I'm going to play and realize that they target these kids, right? They scout them. They award them. Just like in Boy Scouts, you get awarded with what? You know, uh, and I wasn't in Boy Scouts, so I don't know. But they get awarded with certain things, right? Ribbons, whatever, right? If you're on a sports team, you get rewarded, promoted to captain. Okay, it's the same thing. It's this, it's this power structure within organizations. So there are kids, they watch them. The Masons watch these kids in these youth organizations. They promote them. They recommend them. And then when an order higher above says, this is where the event's going to occur, this is a perfect place, they scout this out, they talk to Freemasons locally, they watch these kids, they speak to these kids, they give them the order, these kids are rewarded handsomely financially, they receive fame, they receive power, all stuff that they would want, they're told they're going to be future politicians and future world leaders. It's how it works, okay? So I'm just completely upset at the fact that I, I can see what's coming from this. And we have the dumbest generation, because these teens are the dumbest. And um, it's not an attack on, you know, there's teens who listen to this channel, and they're waking up. And it's not an attack on you, it's because of the programming you've been under. You've been under the most programming, right? Millennials, and then the generation below. Because you've been under constant attack. Device, device, device. Program, program, program. Chemicals, chemical, chemicals, right? There's more chemicals now than ever before. There's more fluoriding going on than ever before. Now, this generation is a godless generation. Most of these kids are self-empowered, right? Why do you see the TV with all the commercials about self-empowerment? Be your own god. The Mason, you know, the teachings that the Masons follow and teach everyone. 
That's what you're seeing with these kids now. And then they, you know, they don't have God in their lives. And this is what we're going to see rise up is this youth movement. And it's going to lead to many more things. Sexualizing children, dropping the age of all this stuff. It's scary to think of what's going to come. But watch this video. This is just from a Masonic Lodge in, in uh, Michigan, I believe. And just talking about, you know, the importance of the youth organization to the Freemasons. Why it's important. The people who are behind it. You'll see Knights Templar, right? Baphomet worshippers. I've covered that before, right? Demolay. Baphomet. I mean, the Knights Templar worship the Baphomet. You see how all this connects? This is about Lucifer worship. These people worship him. They follow Pike. These kids are indoctrinated with the same teachings that these Masons are. And it's scary. We need to alert people. Because it's going to be hard for us to fight against teens. You know why? Because people are instantly going to side with the teen because they're going to go, you're a bully. It's some poor kid at school got, and there was guns there. And you're some 40-year-old, 30-year-old, 50-year-old. How dare you pick on these kids who are victims? They're kids, right? Meanwhile, we're trying to do everything we can to help children who are being molested, who are being trafficked through these satanic circles, these satanic rings, and they look at us like we're crazy. That's what's heartbreaking and driving me crazy about all this stuff, because they're going to use the kids against us, and when we cry and, and, and you know scream about what they're really doing with these kids, no one's going to listen. So they're flipping this entire script on us, as they always do, because they invert everything. Take a listen to this clip, and I want to thank everybody for listening to today's show. Daughters International is another Masonic-sponsored organization designed to accommodate the character-building needs of our youth. It was founded in 1920 by Ethel T. Weed Mick in Omaha, Nebraska, as a way to band together girls who are related to Master Masons. It is open to young ladies between the ages of 10 and 20 who meet that Masonic requirement and focuses on bonding lifelong friendships, giving back to the community, and helping those who cannot help themselves. Finally, there is the International Order of Rainbow Girls, a Masonic Youth Service Organization that, like De Malay, requires no Masonic family relationship for membership. It was founded by Freemason Reverend W. Mark Sexton in 1922 to teach young ladies between the ages of 11 and 21 the value of charity and community service toward building their own leadership. 
leadership skills. All the lessons of Rainbow Girls come from a faith in a supreme being, having hope in all that you can do, and giving charity to others. These three organizations, with their close Masonic ties and supervision, provide the groundwork from which young people can build their own cathedrals of character, using the tools of responsibility to lay the bricks of a virtuous life. My name is Dirk Hughes with the Michigan Masonic Museum and Library. Until next time. a call for an uprising wealth